Jawa so I um Okay. I I actually came to Wikipedia and I met Jawad. Uh, that was around 2012. There about when I started active editing. So you know, he and I had some conversations in those early days to start a grand version of Wikipedia. So that was just a conversation. Um, it never resolved into anything. In 2014, during the Ebola outbreak, um, there was a project ongoing in Ghana where, you know, uh, Translators Without Borders is an NGO. They were gathering <coughs> translations in um, indigenous languages that would allow people to become more informed about um, the Ebola crisis and how to go about you know, protecting themselves. So I signed up for the translation drive for the Ebola in 2014. And at that time, I, I got a lot of help from another person who is not here, unfortunately, called Chintiwini, Abu Bakar Abdullah Chintiwini. He and I did a lot of, you know, translations with regards to health related articles. So we had those, but all the while there still wasn't a Dagban language Wikipedia. And the process of creating a Dagban language Wikipedia, well, with all other Wikipedias, is you have to start a project in the incubator. And then as the project matures and develops and more people come on board, and there are a lot of editors who are constantly, constantly editing the project you could then apply later to become a full Wikipedia, you know, after a while, after you have enough content, many people um, getting involved and constantly editing. So in 2014, the idea of, you know, starting an incubator project for Dagbani became more stronger. And I still had Chinti Wini with me who helped me a lot, you know, creating some of the initial articles. And it, um, it's interesting to know that it was just James Winnie and I who understood the language, but then we had other people, three people, I think, one person from England and then two, two people from the, one person from France and another person from the US, I think, were also very actively involved, although they weren't contributing content, but they were helping us build the pages for the incubator. So moving along. Uh, the incubator started, and I can share a link to this if I can find it. Some other person from the US, I think, were also very actively involved. Although they weren't contributing content, but they were helping us build the pages for the incubator. So, so moving along, myself, uh, the incubator started. If someone is not, and I can share a link to this if I can find it. Another person. Um, yeah. We're also very actively involved, although they were in contributing content, but they were helping us. So I'm going to log off again and then join because I'm hearing myself. Mm -hmm. Moving so along, hearing myself. Uh, the incubator started. If someone is not, uh, mm -hmm. I can mm -hmm. Hello. Hello. Yeah, so hello. Yeah, he said, I, think, hey, hey. I think it was from me. Um, I was oh. streaming live on YouTube, so I just closed the page. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. I think it was he, he'll me. be rejoining. Okay, cool. All right.
Okay, so the Sadat is back. Hello, Sadat. Hello, can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you now. So I just rejoined you. Yeah, so sorry, it was actually from my end. Uh, as I was live uh, doing the streaming on YouTube, I think I was getting some feedback, so I closed it. Sorry about that. Okay, so I was, um, what was I? I was talking about the incubator, um, and I shared a link to the incubator, which the note taker would add to the notes so that you can look at it later on. Um, so yeah, the incubator was created with the help of three people, you know, and then two, um, well, two native, uh, um, two native editors and then three people who were helping build the pages who were not that bomba. So in 2015, um, I had two more people come on board, Abdul Latif, who is Lisa Pumaya, and then um, Abdul Rashid, who is Lisa in 91. So they helped me creating um, other articles, like botanical articles, which was very important to them. I can still hear an echo, so please, if you can mute yourself, if you want to speak in. Yeah, so in 2016, the project began to slow down. You know, we had quite a number of articles. And this is still in the, the, this is still in the incubator, okay? And we had like 20, 25, 30 articles. But then by 2016, the project began to slow down and Sadiq came on board around that time and we got in touch with the University of Education who, you know, were very, very helpful to us with the Ghanaian Language um, Department, uh, Mr. Hudu and, uh, and the rest of his team. No, Mr. Fusin, sorry. And um, people did want to help you know, but the problem had to do with coordination, as in, because this is a volunteer project, I mean, it's obvious people don't have too much time on their hand. So coordination was, you know, one of the reasons that the project slowed down a little bit. Then there was also obviously the lack of time that people didn't have, and also lack of resources because people would need internet, people would need routers to be able to contribute to a volunteer-led project. So, you know, by 2017, it was almost dead, I should say. <laughs> um, 2018 came and passed, 2019 came and passed, and then early 2020, nothing really happened in the incubator with regards to that one. So, um, a few months ago, there was sort of, but then all this while I kept contact with people like Latif and the professors at the University of Education. And we, we, are, we were constantly, constantly, you know, um, thinking about what to do next. So in 2020, Sadiq and I decided to, to kickstart the whole project again. And um you know starting by ramping up some interest and then bringing people together on a single platform so that we can collaborate more easily and even at that time the band still wasn't support, uh, supported on certain aspects of the Wikimedia project like on wikidata so i took that upon myself and i and i um i followed up on that so currently, the Bani is not only supported in the incubator, it's, only, it's, it's also supported on Wikidata as well. You can add labels, you can add descriptions in the Bani language to Wikidata currently as, currently as we speak. And I have been able to add at least 50,000 labels to Wikidata so far. And we're thinking of you know, how to do that in a, much, in a much more organized way so that people can follow what we are doing. So that is why we started this WhatsApp group and then we brought some people on board to deliberate, to think about what to do next, to come up with ideas, to you know, see how we can, we, can, we can bring this project 
back to life and out of the incubator to become a full Wikipedia project and then support it in other ways around the Wikimedia Foundation project as well. So, um, yeah, that is how this group, you know, came about in the last few weeks. And right now we are looking at uh, what to do next and how to form some little structure around this group so that there can be a much more coordinated way of writing these articles and actually helping bring our language to the forefront of the internet. As many of you are aware, um, Wikipedia is it's a very important text corpus, you know, so machine learning projects like Google Translate and Google Search would need some, you know, some amount of content, translated, translated content to be able to, um, to be able to support the language so that people can actually search for content online using the bunny purely people are going to be able to build tools on top of, you know, um, the language. So that, like interfaces can appear in Dagbani for people who want to read Dagbani specifically. And then generally, and most importantly to me as, you know, as a means of preserving the language so that, you know, people in the future would have a reference to look at. Oh, so this is what, you know, people who spoke Dagbani 200 years ago, this is how they, said this word or that word and this is how they actually thought about you know terms in you know in the context of the language so this is you know the grand vision of of what Sadiq and I had and then we wanted to ask you all you know to help us come on board to come on board and help us to make this this dream a reality for us all. Oh. Um, yeah, so basically we, where we are right now is that we have the Bani language incubator. We have a few articles in it, but it's not enough to, to you know, um, to use it to apply to become a full language on the Wikipedia. And then also we are thinking of setting up this small organization so that we would need like volunteers amongst yourself who can help us add some structure to the process. Um, I mentioned two things. There was a third thing I wanted to mention. Um, yeah, and then also, we also need to have uh, technical translations of certain ways that would allow, you know, the machine learning projects that Google uses for translates and then for search to be able to handle the Bani language. So these are the three key things that we have in mind at the moment. But then we are obviously open to, you know, other ideas that people might have and how they think that, you know, we can do this together. So I would just pause a little bit and see if there are any comment or anyone wants to say something else before I move on. Okay, um, thank you so much for that. Um, at this point, if you have any question as we go along, just um, feel free to share it and then we'll address it. And it's also important for us to know that we are the first um, group to actually come like this and, you know, take this discussion, even though we've had several, several um, meetings and we've tried our best um, to get a, a much bigger community. So um, we should all consider ourselves as like pioneers together with those who started it to date. And we hope that we would um, have the opportunity to support and make something that uh, our future or generations will be proud of. So it is very important for us to um, 
understand that the whole Wikimedia projects are voluntary based and um, is out of passion and out of love for whatever topic or um, language that you are contributing to that makes people come together to contribute to Wikipedia. Um, I also want to believe that most of us here know uh, much about Wikipedia as Sadas uh, mentioned. Um, yeah, so um, I've shared the link to the ETA part. Kindly feel free to um, sign in your name. Um, if you don't have a username, you can just put in your name. And at the end of the day, uh, but I think by the close of the day, we should be able to create accounts for all of us. And I think I'm very excited about this meeting because um, we are very hopeful about the future. And we believe that um, this meeting will be very uh, successful and more um, of this to continue as we uh, try to bring the Wikipedia, the Wikipedia out of incubation. So um, if you have any question or suggestion, anything that you want to share with us, feel free. And as I mentioned to the event, is, um, this meeting is streaming live on YouTube. So if you don't want to appear, if you don't want your face to appear, kindly turn off your video. Thank you. Yeah, I should also mention that, um, I forgot to mention a third, um, you know, point of interest. So aside from writing content in Dagbani, we are also extremely excited about, you know, Dagbani related content on the larger language Wikipedias, like on English Wikipedia. Because, I mean, obviously people read English language Wikipedia more often than, than um, yeah, they would likely be reading any of the local languages. So, and I would, you know, use this opportunity to say a big thank you to Mohamed Hadi, who has done incredible amount of work in that area already. I see his edits on the, um, one of the pages that he has written that is really, I found really, you know, interesting was, um, is it a Dagbani naming conventions? Uh, I'm not sure, Hadi. Yeah, hello. Yeah, so it, it was about the naming conventions, I mean, the origins of our local names, um, where they originate and then the meanings of some of the local names. So that was what the edit was about, the writing was about. It was just to, so that when you come down north and then you hear someone call Azindo, you probably know, okay, Azindo, when you, when, you, when you want to find out what Azindo means, or you hear someone call um, Juna, so you go online and then search if you, you are able to find uh, that name, the, the meaning of it. So that was the mo uh, the motive uh, the motive behind the the the, the writing. So it's uh, just our names, the local names that we have, and then of course I couldn't capture everything, but <laughs> um, um, the little work was 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 um, I mean it's okay for me, and then I hope to contribute much uh, to it and other works too. So basically, that's it. It's, it's about naming conventions of the uh, the Goma people. So us, yeah. Yeah, I mean, thanks so much. Yeah. The the um, Wikipedia is a work in pro a work in progress. It never has an yeah. end. So you know, people are going to keep improving it. I I had an idea to write about this some time ago when one of my relatives, you know, had a baby and they were looking for a Dagani name. I mean, it's unfortunate that these days, um, well rather fortunate that these days people like young people like us tend to want to have our kids to have like full Dagbani names rather than previously you know our parents felt we should we, uh, <laughs> um, Arabic names felt better but I'm really glad when I see like young people naming their kids in Dagbani which is just really so they were looking for a Dagbani name and I was called to help for whatever reason they, they they try and would, you know, I would know some names and I didn't have any resources so to actually give to them. And I had plans of creating something like that some time ago. So yeah. I mean, when I saw your, your edits, I was really excited. Thank you.
Okay, does anyone have any comments before I say a few more things? We have like um, 21 minutes, 20 minutes more to go. Can anyone hear me? Yes, we can hear you. But if you could speak up a little bit, your voice is a bit faint, Jamila. Oh, I'm actually shouting here. I'm barely shouting out here. That's manageable. I can hear you. So I could probably boost whatever you say. So feel free to say it. Okay, I want to. Uh, I want to thank you and the crew that started the Dabani Wikipedia. And I've always looked forward to, to getting a platform or something like that. To, that would speak my language, or should I say that would portray my language. And I want to say thank you and congratulations to you and the crew that started it. And also, I think we could, I mean, I just have a suggestion as to how we can get it out of the incubation space into the and um, out of there probably so what i have is that but i have one concern even before my suggestion <laughs> with wikipedia when you write you reference them right you get legitimate i mean very strong sources you have to reference and i have an issue with referencing in the bani in the wikipedia because we don't get people writing in the band, so we don't we cannot actually get references in the band into the Wikipedia of the Dabani version. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking, are we going to be referencing in English or should I say we get English articles and then convert them into the band? Or we are writing something from the scratch in the band, and how do we get to reference all those things we write? Yeah. And I have. And as to how to get it out of Wiki, I mean, the incubation phase is, is just like what we do on Wikipedia. We get, we give a challenge out in the Bani, and then we get people to bring out what they can write about the challenge or whatever they can do within the challenge. And that can feed up more articles and more work onto the Wikipedia, I mean, Wikipedia, the Bani version. So that is also a suggestion I think we can put, I mean, we can use to get it out of the incubation phase because probably I think we need a number of articles to be able to get it out of the incubation phase, right? Yes, so if we could do that, probably we can pick history, anything history about the Bani or wherever part of the country. But in the Bani, you can write that in the Bani and give it out as a concept like you do with the Wikipedia, I mean the English version. So we can get it out of the English space. And with the reference, and I'm very I'm very particular about that because you cannot you can't uh, post or should I say release something without references onto Wikipedia. And that is very key. Sometimes when you are even writing and you have a reference that is not even of a legitimate source, you can hardly post it or you can hardly post it there. Yeah, so we need, I want to know how you can do, we be doing the referencing with the, the Bani version because we don't have the Bani articles online to reference them. <laughs> yeah, so that's what I have. Thank you. All right, thank you so much, Jamila, for your submission. It was really exciting. I, um, I initially, Talk to you another Jamila Abdullah that I yes. know. Uh, <laughs> but so yeah, there are so many Jamila Abdullahs, so that is great. <laughs> okay, I'm Jamila Abdullah anyway. <laughs> okay. Sorry to come in. Jamila, are you part of the executive so the UDS uh, yes. campus? Oh, okay. Yes. All right, Jamila. Um, so let me start with the referencing. Yeah, so this was one of, you know, 
I think this is the most, like, this is a very important question that you just asked. This was one of the, the big hurdles we had to cross when we, you know, started writing <clears throat> in the incubator. And with, um, so with the articles in the incubator, majority of them were translations from English into Dagani. So we simply used the English language references that were available and brought them into Dagani. So what happens on Wikipedia is that you can write an article in Dagbani. So, well, we don't have a full Dagbani Wikipedia yet, but, but let's say you can write an article in Italian. And then if you have references in Chinese, you can use those Chinese references. You can write an article in Hebrew. In, and if you have references in Arabic, you can use Arabic references for it. So with referencing, it is fine if we don't have Dagbani language. Like, article. Uh, the Ghana language sources to use if you are going to write in the Ghana. But then, um, if we are going to write about history, we are not going to have many references as much as we would like to have because some of them are very oral histories. So with that, it would be a little bit of a challenge but what I would suggest is that, and you can, anyone can bring up more suggestions, is that the rate of entry for articles in Dagbani wouldn't be as high as English language Wikipedia currently is. So we might have a leeway to, you know, to work around some of these things, but ultimately we should be aiming to have strong references or even the Ghana language articles that we write. And I also think that the absence of references in the Ghana language would be a motivator for people to actually write in the Ghana, like have the Ghana language sources so that we can use them. So we can keep talking to people who have platforms or the media that is able to write in the Ghana to provide us with sources and that we can use as uh, references. And secondly, you talked about, um, yeah, contest. Yeah, so there's actually a grant application that I'm, I was just working on this morning to, um, to for us to get some support from the Wikimedia Foundation to start a writing contest in the Ghana. We've had similar contests in other languages. So that is something that we can, you know, uh, definitely do. And I'm excited that you were thinking that way as well. So, so that is really great. Can I add something to what you said, Masli? Sure. Yeah, so Jamila, um, you've really raised some interesting questions. Uh, thank you for that. Um, but what I have to say is that in creating a new Wikipedia, um, it's not always necessary to strictly apply the principles from um, the big Wikipedias like English Wikipedia, French Wikipedia, and Spanish Wikipedia to an indigenous language Wikipedia. Uh, the reason being that is these Wikipedias evolved from somewhere, just like we are evolving. And it took years for them to come up with these principles and guidelines that they now have and are using. So it is a good idea to adopt um, some of these principles um, onto an indigenous language Wikipedia, but it's not obliged that you necessarily apply every principle because um, some principles might work and others might not work depending on the situation or depending on the language you're dealing with. So like Sadat said, uh, references are important when creating articles on Wikipedia, but um, for indigenous languages, it is not a must because we know this, the situation, we know that resources or 
information are not a lot online in these languages. The other thing I wanted to say is that uh, I was this a suggestion. Could it since most of the indigenous languages are oral and not uh, mostly written, and when you talk about history, it's mostly the old people that know the history or the history of the people and the language. So could it be possible that we have an option where um, for indigenous languages, there is oral citation because that kind of relates with the languages for most languages in, um, in Ghana. Okay, in, but so I think that would even actually encourage a lot of people to edit since most of people like to speak it, but they don't like to write it. So if there could be that option of oral citation on indigenous languages, I think it would go a long way to encourage people to get involved. Yeah, thanks so much for that, Zita. Um, there have been some experiments in the past about oral citations, and I think they are still in the experimental phases. So obviously, this is a, you know this is something that we can think more about and see how we can leverage its value to support our local language Wikipedias. Ultimately, a local language Wikipedia, the rules are determined by the people who, the, the community of that language. So we can definitely do that. We just have to find a way, an organized, structured way of, of doing it. And, you know, as a Wikipedia that was just about to start, you know, we have, um, we have some leeway to, to determine how we want to use oral citations. Um, so that is great, very important. Um, we have just nine more minutes and I would like to, to, um, to, to see if we can move quickly because I'm determined to have this under one hour. <laughs> um, so like I mentioned, um, the lack of coordination was what really stalled the progress of the Dagwani language project that we were thinking about in our minds all the way from 2012, 2013. And as well, not just the Bani, even with the languages that are available, the lack of coordination, like Akan, and Ewe, um, lack of coordination is, is one of the factors that is holding it back from springing to life. So I'll use this opportunity to ask those of us here, you know, um, as we have, started thinking of, so currently um, this planning phase is supported by the Global Open Initiative, but ultimately we would want to be uh, autonomous at some point. And that would mean putting up a team of people who would help us with coordination. Um, so I'll just use this opportunity to ask those of us here I think all of us here would fit in the, can be called founders, I would say, of the Dagwani language Wikipedia. And also on top of that, we would need people who would want to volunteer some of their time to pick up certain like structured rules. So I, well, I have to put it right now that I, um, I think while Sadiq and I are sort of more like the forefront of it, I, um, I'm not going to be able to hold like sort of a leadership role, but more like, you know, um, I can give support to people who are willing to come out and then take up um, some of these leadership roles. So obviously Sadiq is there, and if there are people here who would want to also be part of, you know, the core team that is holding this thing up, um, I don't know how you want to do it, Sadiq. Whether you want to do it here, we have just six minutes, or we, we can take it back to the WhatsApp group and then pick a few people to help us. Yeah. So my internet has been 
unstable. So uh, I, I was disconnected several times. I missed um, part of the conversation. But yeah, as you mentioned, all of us here, I think, are, are part of the core team. And uh, we always look out for those who are willing to support and uh, help us um, promote the Dagbani language Wikipedia. And hopefully, if we are able to do well, we will be able to support other languages that are also um, in the north. So yes, as Sadat mentioned, um, we are open up to anybody who is willing to support whichever way you can, any role you want to play, please let us know, uh, either here or wherever. So just let us know what you can do to support the community. So I think the, the question that Sadek is asking right now is, do you have any volunteers who would want to be in the leadership role? I see Salim smiling. <laughs> yeah, so feel free, any position you want to take, just let us know. Or if you are not even sure of the position, but then you, you want to be part of the leadership team, let us know, then we can come back later, probably on the tele uh, the WhatsApp group to see who to go best fits you. I would I would volunteer to be part of any of the of the leadership Yeah, the leadership team or the core the core leadership team. Basically. All right, so we have Jamila. Khadija is also here. We have another lady called Khadija. We always want to have ladies leading stuff. So, Khadija, speak up before someone mentions your name. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so in my so hand, usually the men to you can. We, why are you quiet? <laughs> I see Ali, uh, you know, a couple of colleagues. Ali um, was my late, he's been a long time uh, friend, and he's, he has a very good command of the language. Yeah. <laughs> and luckily for us, we have a lot of experienced people aside from the students at the the lecturers and the students at the University of uh, Education, we have people who are journalists from Tamil, like very well-known journalists, Justice FM, NTV, all on board. We have um, Kumbundo Baba. He's a big guy at NTV, and he'll give us all the support we need in terms of publicity, uh, advertisement, and all those things. So we are really privilege to have so many good guys in here and uh, we can only hope for the best and so we are planning for a, a major project we are not sure when yet but we just want to highlight that here but what we need to do is um, all of us i think we should create our accounts if you haven't done that yet you just go to uh, english wikipedia to create your account and make sure your account is unique that you can keep and remember every time and then we can take it up from there. We also have a page, which um, I don't know if I shared it here. Uh, let me drop it here. You can go through that. We have social media pages that you can follow and see what you think we can do to improve the group. So I'm going to paste the page here. Oh, okay, so I think my, my mouse is misbehaving. Yeah, so I'll drop it along the way. So, yeah, if you have how about question. yeah, how about Mohammed Hadi? I haven't heard. Okay, he said that he will let us know. Okay, that's fine. Okay. So, yeah, so I this is the page, so more or less like our website is pretty new and 
we'll be working on it more. We have our social media pages. I will not have time to share that here, but you can see it on the page here. You can just follow it and share, invite your friends. And as a community, we are always looking out for more people. The more people we have, the better. So we'll be able to contribute more articles. And um, the other time we we're talking about writing articles about um, literature, Ghanaian, uh, the Ghanaian literature, and uh, one of our colleagues shared a particular book that was really interesting. So we need more people. Invite your friends, colleagues. Good morning. You know. Good morning. Uh, okay. So I would like to conclude by saying, please go to the to the founders page and add, you know add your signature there if you don't know how to sign. Sadiq will show you later on. And also add your name to the members list so that we can start, you know, putting a more formal thing together. I think that is, is it from my end. If anyone wants to add anything before Sadiq so closes us. So um, if you have not been able to sign your name on the ETA part, just uh, write your full name here. Some of you, uh, I can't see your full name, so I can add it. Um, your full names. Or if you can do that right now, that would be very great. The ETA part. And then in the ether part, at the very last link at the, the, the down there, some people find it difficult following social media channels. So we have created a mailing list so that you know, we can push information to that list if you want to subscribe to the email list, to the email list for those who don't want to follow uh, WhatsApp, which is fine. So I guess share the link again in case you want to sign up your name. And we can always continue the discussion on the WhatsApp group. Feel free anytime, anything you have to share. We are really looking for more voices. So we are two minutes past time, and uh, as, uh, as we agreed on, we are supposed to close at 11 a.m. We are just two minutes. Uh, so if you have any last minute suggestion, any question, we'll be happy to pick it. So I think at this point, silence means consent. And just to highlight what we've discussed um, in this meeting, we made introductions, we've got to know about ourselves. We um, had a background of the um, Bani Wikipedia, the roadmap, where we are and where we are going. The notes will be available in case you want to go uh, back. And as I mentioned to the uh, meeting is recorded on YouTube. The link has been shared to the WhatsApp group, so feel free to go over it again. So, Sadat, is there anything we would you would like? No, to I think share? that is it. That is oh. it from my end. Yeah. All right. All right. Thank you so much for making it to this uh, maiden edition. Uh, we look forward to having more meetings like this, and let's continue the discussions on the WhatsApp group. 
if you have any question, as I mentioned, just uh, let us know. So I would like to. Uh, we could probably uh, take a picture on the end. Yes, yes. Uh, let me try and see if I can take a good photo. Uh, so please, can we all show our screen? Like show our faces. Uh, I would like to take a screenshot. Uh, Khadija, you don't want us to see you. Ali, Muhammad, Hadi, okay, cool. So, mm -hmm. yes. Stunning. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Last one. Okay, cool. All right. Thank you so much once again. And we have ended the meeting. Have a wonderful day. Bye.